Hi everyone, it's Lulu. How are you today? I am doing my Lou on Two, taking a break with the closet. I am doing a baker's dozen of my, I'm going to say my top tier skincare. Not the bells and whistles because I have a closet full of that. But recently I saw a collab between Flower Bomb 31 and Michelle Wang. And they did a collab of, you know, if all your skincare disappeared, what are the first 10 things you would run out and buy? And mine turned out to be a baker's dozen. And if I'm not mistaken, that means 13. And I thought and thought, could I eliminate? Could I eliminate? Could I make double use of? And um, so I'm just going to call it a baker's dozen tag of if you had to replace all your skincare. I would love everybody who's watching this to do it or put it in the comments and, and really be specific if it's a brand, uh, not only just the brand, but the actual product I think is always good to know. And you might want to include your skin type because that helps everybody. And we learn about products that don't get all this PR and flash and everything. And there's a lot of great small skincare companies out there that um, really care about their formulas. They're very careful and uh, often more effective because they will put in more potent ingredients because they expect that if you're finding them, you are a little more educated about skincare. So here we go. Here's my baker's dozen. I'm thinking I should try to do it in order. And some of these are AM and PM. And some of you may think 13 skin products, and I totally get it, but not all of these are used every day. And some is mix and match, but really, you know, if I really went to the letter of the lawn, what are the first things I would repurchase? This is pretty much what I would probably repurchase. Uh, let's start with, I don't know, I'm not going to do AM or PM. I'm just going to tell you about the skin care products. Tip, I use an oil cleanser. I do a double cleanse I have for years. I start with an oil cleanser. Some SPFs, because you know I'm an SPF nut, some SPFs are really, you think they're off, but they're not, and it usually takes an oil cleanser to get them off. So I've used an oil cleanser for years, 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. This happens to be by Shiseido. I will, ad I will admit my favorite is Tatcha, not for any particular reason except the bottle. And that's the truth. I've used many, and right now I'm using Shiseido, and it's fine. I always apply to dry skin, and I really, really, really rub. And then I get my hands wet, and I emulsify and rinse. And then I follow with my 20, 25, whenever they launch this, Purity. I, I love it. I, I just love, I love the smell. I'm addicted to the smell. It's a very herbal, medicine-y smell. Many women and men can't use this, and that's fine. Uh, I like that it leaves my skin at a pH balance, which means I can skip a toner. I don't need to tone my skin to the correct pH balance. This leaves it. It's soap-free. It leaves it. It also allows me to use my Retin-A sooner because my skin is pH balanced after using the cleanser. So that's kind of the cleansing portion. All right, and then I'm just not going to go in any particular order, I don't think. Um, I use Stridex 2% salicylic acid pads. It's 2% BSA, beta hydroxy acid. There's 90 of them in here. If you cut them in half, you can get 180. It's at the drugstore for 567. The important thing is that you want it to be alcohol free. That's really the important thing is to be alcohol free. And there's so many pads that are so expensive. All you need. BHAs or salicylic acid clean out your pores. Um, AHAs are more for the top of your skin. BHAs are for inside your pores. And the cleaner your pores are, they'll be less stretched out. So I'm not going to say your pore is smaller, but it'll be less noticeable. Because like anything, you know, you take your garbage can and you fill and you fill and you fill before you finally take it out or your garbage bag. It's like this. Then you put the new one in. It's nice and skinny. So you want to do this. I do this um, most mornings. I use this before, you know, right after I cleanse. It's, it's kind of, if, 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 I don't know, it's just right after cleansing. On a similar note, I love the 
glycolics elite topics glycolics they're all the same company and they kind of change names and designs rather often this is a combination of glycolic and salicylic so uh, glycolic is 10 percent salicylic is two percent and they have various percentages if glycolic's ten percent is too strong they have a five percent they have a stronger one they have a twenty percent I find them much more reasonable than, than a lot of the big names, especially on the shopping channels. And you can control what you get, and you know how much you're getting, which is what I love. And so this is just pads, and I use these, I usually use my exfoliating glycolic acid at night. But this is just tremendous. I could, really, I could skip this for this, but I don't use this every day, but I do use this every day. So that's that, and um, I love my, uh, I love these really concentrated peptide creams. Peter Ross makes one, Peter Roth makes one. This one is by Dr. Dinesh, it's a 76%. Uh, certainly Paracone is neuropeptide cream, and I know there's quite a few others, but I like having a lot of different peptides. I use this on my neck. What, I use this um, with hydration. I, I'm very, just love a peptide cream. I have oily skin, maybe should have said that, but I have mature skin, so it's a problem because everything from mature skin is always about hydration and moisturization, and I do need hydration, but oily skin is a problem. I use the L'Oreal Hydrogenius for normal to oily skin. It's a beautiful bottle. It's glass. Hard to find. The one for normal to dry is easy to find. This one's a little harder to find. And I think it might have alcohol in it, which doesn't bother my skin at all. But this is what I use for my moisturizer. I will take this down to my neck. You know, I tried to stay to Baker's Dozen. Neck cream is kind of, it's important, but that might be in my bells and whistles. So I take this, and I take this, and that's down my neck. But anyway, so that's my moisture. This is the one I would run out and get because I really like it for my oily skin. It just gives me the perfect balance. Uh, probably the very first thing I would buy would be my Retin-A, my Tretinoin, Retin-A, whatever we want to call this. I use the uh, 0.5 percent. I use this all over my face. I dab it ever so slightly here. I can't come anywhere under my eyes. And I use it every other night on my neck. So this would probably be my very first repurchase is my Retin-A. Vitamin C, I like Timeless. There's a lot of great vitamin C products. Um, here's a quiz. Did you know there are seven types of vitamin C? Seven. And each is different than the other. I like the original L-ascorbic acid. It is the one that has the most research. It is known to build collagen. It is known for brightening. It is known for um, lightening age spots. It's a great antioxidant, so it is highly protective of your skin. There's a lot of new vitamin C's coming out of the market, and they are great for certain things. I like the good old-fashioned L-ascorbic acid, and my favorite happens to be by Timeless at the moment. I know SkinCeuticals Coles is mentioned a lot because they have C and ferulic acid, as does Timeless. There's a lot of, there's, there's a company called Skin Actives. You would almost think, I mean, they are so identical. They are so, I, I mean, the ingredient list. I think SkinCeuticals might be 140 140 and that one might be 40. Timeless on sale is 20 or 15. Um, but I like the L-ascorbic acid and I like it at 20%. And for me personally, I like them liquidy. Um, they smell a little like burnt rubber. So if, if yours is smelling like orange, it's ha it has an added fragrance. But vitamin C really kind of has a, you know, not, not the best fragrance and you don't need a lot of it. Um, I could do a whole routine on vitamin C, but that's an absolute must-have for me. Then my SPF, my favorite is Polish Choice. It is the whoops, upside down. It is the Resist Super Light Only uh, Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. 
Again, it's great for my skin. It has a little bit of a tint, no white cast. It does not make me oily. If anything, it might even help my oil. Some might say 30 isn't enough. Um, some of my other products have some. I, the, the key really is to use enough, and I do. I think I have a video about that. Maybe I'll link it. It's kind of funny. Uh, but I use this. This is the first. I have many, but this is the first one I would buy. And then uh, I'd buy my, right now I'm using 55% lactic peel from Makeup Artist Choice. I was at 40%. I use this every Sunday night. Um, you gotta know what you're doing. It's not hard. I just take a little, I pour it in the cap, literally. I take it and I pour, this is like uh, the sample size and it's good for probably three months. I pour it in the cap. I dip a paddle brush in, like from the foundation, those paddle brushes, there's one I don't use. I just dip the tip in and I start painting my face. It's very, you know, it's very liquidy. And I use pretty much the whole thing. Sorry, the phone's gonna be ringing. I pretty much use the whole cap. And then I fan myself for five to seven to 10 minutes. And the fanning really, really helps the stinging, really helps the stinging. You typically don't have visible peeling from this, but obviously it's an incredible exfoliator. And this one, lactic acid, is the best for lightening brown age spots. And then we come to my eye creams, and that rounds out my baker's dozen. I could just go, this is so worn out. My favorite everyday eye cream is Algenist Eye Balm, the original. It's not a balm, it's a cream, but the name is Balm. I love this. It is, it penetrates, it is hydrating. It doesn't have a lot of extra stuff. I don't have to worry about dark circles. I don't have to worry about bags. My skin is too sensitive to worry about retinols and things under my eyes, and it is Sahara dry. This is very oily, Sahara dry. Makeup goes on beautiful on the Algenis eye balm. At night, I need as much moisture as I can get. For years, the, this is a sample. The Shiseido Benefiance eye cream has been my favorite. I am in the middle of testing quite a few eye creams, almost all high end. I do like the Bobbi Brown Extra Rich very much, like neck and neck. But I am testing out quite a few right now because I'm just trying to find the very, very most hydrating without it being tacky or too silicone-y. Um, I don't want actives uh, because my skins get irritated from that. I just need moisture. I just need moisture under my eyes. So that's my baker's dozen. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I tag you. I don't know what I'm going to call this because I would like this to be a tag. But again, if all your skincare disappeared, you know, what are the fundamental pieces? And these, again, some are fundamental for night. I mean, could I get away with moisture, Retin-A moisturizer, sunscreen, and cleanser? Probably. I mean, really. Let's, you know, I mean, really. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, nuts. How did I forget it? Where is it? Did it fall? My favorite exfoliator, physical exfoliator. Oh, man. Did it fall down the couch? No. Derma E micro. micro microdermabrasion spread. It has a lemony scent. The grit is very fine. There is a lot of it, so you don't want to go in like a crazy person because you will feel it. Use it in the shower so you can get all that tiny grit off, but it's, it's the Derma E microdermabrasion scrub. It's a little tub, but you do not need a lot because there's so many scrubbies in it. Rinses off clean in the shower. I love that. And uh, I'm a real big believer in exfoliating, not overly, but you know, if, if this is all I had on my vanity top, I would be totally fine. I have lots of bells and whistles, but this is totally, oh, is this it? Wait, this might be it. I'm so happy. Derma E. Um, so bright, but it's 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 very very fine, 
very fine grit and a lot of it. So if you have sensitive skin, probably not for you. And as I said, I wouldn't go in like just scrubs. I would do it lightly until you have a sense of, um, and there's a lot of little scrubbies in there, until you have, I think it's clay, because I know we don't want to be hurting the fish. I don't my glasses on. You probably can read about it. Ethical beauty. Enhanced, no, ethical, ethical beauty. So it probably is clay. And thank you. So that's my baker's dozen. Hope this helped you. Would love to hear. If you're going to do a video, let me know. I tag you. Your fundamentals, not your bells and whistles, but, you know, your nighttime evening that I, I'll do okay with it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.